Hi, my name is Rhonda Fisher and I'm a real estate agent with eXp Realty. And today I just wanted to uh, walk you through the Central West End. Um, if you've watched any of our other videos, you'll see that we have kind of some walking tours, some driving tours of Central West End. But today I just wanted to take you through kind of like an aerial type, an overview, a map overview of where, where the area is in St. Louis and where it um, is in relationship to other things. So this is 63108 zip code, which is the Central West End. And I really like the Central West End. It's a pretty hip, young, uh, pretty eclectic, all different kinds of people there. I really like it. And there's a lot of different things to do. Um, so when you are in the Central West End, you'll see a lot of different things like there's the Cathedral Basilica, which uh, we have um, in one of our videos, we actually have an inside area where you can go in and see. Um, so maybe we'll do a tour of the Cathedral Basilica, uh, just that because it's absolutely beautiful in there. Um, so anyway, so this is the Central West End. So with regards to St. Louis, here's St. Louis and here's the Central West End. Um, you're maybe 10, 15 minutes to downtown. And then this is over, this is Illinois and this is the river on the other side of Illinois. Um, but right next to uh, the Central West End, this green space, that's Forest Park. And that is a really neat park. There's a lot of things to do there. There's the zoo, there's the art museum, there is Steinberg skating rink, uh, the jewel box. This is actually beautiful. Uh, there's weddings and things there. Um, there is, let me zoom in a little bit more, um, because the Muni right here, uh, that's really good because you can go and watch outdoor perform performances. Um, there is, let's see, there's the zoo. I already did that. That has the river's edge. The uh, St. Louis Zoo is a really cool place because, well, actually all of these places, um, most of them are free. Um, the zoo, the science muse museum, and the science center, the St. Louis Art Museum, uh, you, you do have to pay for the golf. But there's golf here. I believe it's a nine-hole golf course. Um, there is... Yeah, all of this stuff. I mean, just so much. And all of these trails and streets are streets to drive on. There's a lot of people that run and walk and rollerblade and bike and uh, just a lot of stuff to do. Anyway, so this is not about Forest Park. Um, I also want to show you with regards to the Central West End, how close you are. Um, you're about 15 minutes to the airport, which is right in this area. All of that is the airport. So uh, not very far. Um, so if you need to go somewhere, it's not that far. Um, and then let's zoom back in because there's just a lot of things to do. If you work in Clayton, Clayton is right here. Um, so you're not that far from that as well. Uh, let me zoom in here. So at when you're in the Central West End, you are close to St. Louis University. Um, there is St. Louis University High School. There's Community College. There is um, Washington University. But the Central West End, in my opinion, um, other than being eclectic, is pretty much known for the medical area. Um, so I know it's just outside of Central West End, but you have Barnes Hospital. Um, you have, let's see, there is St. Louis Children's Development Center, the Shriners Hospital for Children. There is um, University of Health and Sciences. There's Washington University School of Medicine is down here. Um, here, see, it's the School of Medicine right here, Washington University Infectious Disease. Um, 
So anyway, and then like, here's the Gold Farb School of Nursing and it's all right there. Uh, let me go in here though. I wanna show you um, inside, here's the World Chess Hall of Fame. That's a really cool place. Um, here's the Whole Food Market. There's hotels, uh, just a lot of, I mean, a lot of things. There's the Basilica again. Um, and then I want to show you back over here. Let's go in and look at restaurants. There are a lot, a lot of restaurants. Um, it doesn't look like it, but when you get down into this area, there's a lot of mom and pop type restaurants. Um, you've got the sushi bar, you have the Shake Shack. I always find that hard to say. The Chess Club, the Tenderloin Room, um, Chase Club, let's see, Yellow Belly. I, there's a White Castle. I don't know if you've ever had White Castle. Um, there is, I laugh because I like White Castle. A lot of people don't, but I do. Uh, there's a pie pizzeria. There's Mission Taco. I went down to a restaurant back here. Let me close this down because I don't want it to be. Um, of course, it's going to happen. Anyway, let me go to restaurants. I mean, groceries. There's a lot of different places to uh, actually shop. There's the Whole Foods. There's a Straub's. That's a grocery store. Schnucks. Um, that's a grocery store. There's a mar little market, King's Market. There's a Save-A-Lot. Um, let me go back here and see if I can get back to the restaurants. Because like I said, there are a lot of restaurants. I was trying to see where I went to that one restaurant. It was so good. I feel like it's on this road right here. Anyway, it doesn't matter. Uh, Medina Grill, I believe, is where we went. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's where we went. It was really good. It, was, it had an outdoor seating area. Most of these along here do. Um, anyway, so I want to go in and talk to you a little bit about real estate as well. Let's go in and go back to page one. So I'm kind of an optimist when it comes to real estate. So here's a listing right here. It has four bedroom, two bath. Now, a lot of people would look at this and they would just be like, are you kidding me, Rhonda? But I'm an optimist. I always like to look and see the uh, better side of things. Um, this one is definitely for the investor. Um, it looks like they've had a little bit of maybe some water damage. Um, yeah, I kind of think so. But I can see the, the uh, finished product. I can always see it. And um, so I'm always that I'm always that I'm probably a really good agent for an investor because I really can go in and I can say, OK, you know what? Well, let's just take all this walling wall down. But look at these beautiful spindles, the wood railing. Um, it's got this fireplace needs a little bit of work. Looks like somebody's been eating on the bricks. But um, somebody has come in here and already started this process. But I'm the optimistic agent. So. I like to look at these houses and just really see the potential and how you can come in and maybe take a wall out and open it up and put a beautiful kitchen in there that might need to be just boarded up. But um, anyway, so I just wanted to kind of show you that house. I know a lot of people would be like, oh, my gosh, Rhonda, seriously. Um, but let's go in and look at maybe this one. Oh, the, yeah, I looked at this one earlier and it's absolutely beautiful. This one has been completely redone on the inside. Um, beautiful porch. We have all this wood on the ceiling. They've painted it. They've come in and put new flooring in. Um, beautiful railing, the exposed brick over here. The beautiful spindles. I just... I love the exposed brick and it looks like they've reworked this fireplace, maybe put an electric fireplace in or maybe a gas. Not really sure exactly what they've done. Um, I can look. This has beautiful marble. I'm sorry, not marble, granite countertops. 
Um, again, the exposed brick back here, it's probably the same, but oh my goodness, look at this kitchen. It's absolutely beautiful. Beautiful uh, gas oven range. Looks like they have a wine cooler maybe down there. So I just, I wanna show you some of these houses. They're just, in my opinion, I just really like them. This is a condo. Let's see what this condo looks like. Oh, that's pretty. Look at that barn door, beautiful. And the built-in bookshelves and the beautiful view back here. Got this big picture window. Beautiful built-ins. Some more built-in bookshelves. Very, very nice. Very pretty. Pretty kitchen. Look at that. Like they have the uh, washer and dryer, their own laundry facilities, built-ins. Very pretty. Beautiful view. Look at that view over there. Beautiful wood floors. Barn doors. That's beautiful. That's four fifty, basically four sixty. Has three bedrooms, two baths. Beautiful house. 2,100 square feet. Let's look at this one. I think this is a condo as well. These houses are, I just love these old houses. That's been completely updated. Look, they have the built-ins over here with the seating. Let's look at that, look at that range. Or the hood over the range, it's red. Beautiful, look at that beautiful bathroom. I just love how they redo these. Look at that, that's the master bedroom. I love the different angles on the roof lines in these old houses, they're just beautiful. And there's the washer dryer. Look at that. Very, very pretty. Let's look and see here. Let's look at this one. Okay, look at that. That's beautiful. Built-in seating in the island. That's always nice. It doesn't take extra space. Looks like there's a private little patio back there. Master bath, ensuite. Look at that shower, that's huge. The entire family can shower in there. So let's see here, let's see what else we have. Well, let's look at this one. Okay, now that's beautiful, look at that. Beautiful woodwork around the doors. The breakfast area. Look at that beautiful kitchen. So pretty. Look at this shower. Look at all the shower heads in there. So pretty. Big bathroom, big bedrooms. Look at this. That's a finished lower level. Let's look at some more. Let's look at this one. Looks like it needs some work, but I think it's gonna be beautiful. Oh, look at that, beautiful. It's all been updated. Looks like a slate fireplace. Very pretty. Has the transom windows above the doors. Beautiful, look at how many stairs there are there. It looks like about 20 stairs. Very nice. Look at that kitchen, very pretty kitchen. Has a, a place to sit at the island. Very nice. It has the microwave oven, um, combo, has a barn door. 
the subway has subway tile here. It's been updated. Looks like a private deck area. Very nice. Very nice. Let's see some other ones. All right, this is a condo as well. This one is beautiful. Look at those floor to ceiling uh, wall or windows, wall of windows. Private rooftop deck and balcony. Oh, that's beautiful. Separate dining area. So it says it's a study. Very beautiful. Has all the built-ins over here, which, you know, that doesn't take up the extra space on the floor. So uh, the foot, footprint is already built into the wall. So that's, that's really nice. Uh, look at this. It's a double sink with the actual place to sit down and do your makeup or work on your nails or whatever you need to do. Beautiful built-in. All right. Washer dryer. It's a laundry room with a sink, which is really nice. Private, there's your private deck. Look at that view. Look at that, that's beautiful. And then look, you've got a deck, or I'm sorry, you have a, an office space upstairs too. So that is very, very desirable right now. Very bright, very open. Look at that, that's absolutely beautiful. Okay, I really like this place. Um, let's see what else we have here. Let's look at this one. Okay, so this one, this is kind of cool. Here's the house right here. Uh, you've got your restaurants and your shopping. Back here is downtown. So that shows you how close you are to downtown. Uh, here's the Cathedral Basilica. There's the restaurants, the Whole Food, and there's Forest Park is back over here. Um, the New City School. This is the hospital district area. Um, where BJC Hospital, the School of Medicine, um, all of that Goldfarb School of uh, Nursing is over there. So that's not that far. You're probably talking about possibly on a nice day you could walk to some of this. Um, but I would say you're probably looking at a maybe five to seven minute drive. So uh, let's see what the house looks like. Okay, this is beautiful. Look at this beautiful floors. You've got a bench here that you can actually sit down and put your shoes on. Beautiful staircase with all the windows. Look at all the additional lighting, the crown molding. Very, very pretty. Look at the lead glass window here. Very, very beautiful. Look at this kitchen. They have the seating at the island. They have the built-in the refrigerator with the um, cabinets that are built in around it. They have the, oh gosh, this is beautiful, this gas um, oven with a stainless steel hood. There's the fireplace. Beautiful, beautiful. It's an eat-in kitchen with the banquette behind. That's, that is nice. It has a private deck area. separate dining. Let's see here. Look at this. Look at this bedroom, this master bedroom with the fireplace, beautiful flooring. It's very bright. Look at all the doors and windows in this. Um, there's two doors goes out to the private deck. It looks like, yep, there you go. That's a big bedroom. And look at this, the clawfoot tub. It's still, they maintain the character um, with some of it, but yet put in the modern conveniences. You have double sink. You have, a, look at this shower. Look how big that is with the seat and look at all the built-ins over here. Again, 
This is built-ins. It doesn't take up the footprint. It's built into the wall. So that's very nice. Um, you can put a lot of um, extra stuff in there. You can put all of your towels, your, you know, your linens. You could even maybe put your clothing in there, depending on what it looks like on the inside, but, and not take up the space for uh, your, um, for a dresser in your bedroom. Uh, beautiful floors, bright and open. There's a little office or a bedroom. Look at this cute little window here. It's another fireplace, not sure if they work. Beautiful, very pretty. You know, see this behind the door as well. They've taken uh, part of the wall out and they've put in built-in bookshelf or built-in shelving for uh, your linens. Okay, so this is on the upstairs. Uh, this, and the reason that you can tell is because of the slanted ceilings um, in the little dormers that go out to the where the windows are. Beautiful tile in the back, the built-in shelving. Again, they've got the um, update. Everything's updated. All right, so I just kind of wanted to give you an idea. There's some the window seats right there. Um, just kind of look at that basement. They've already painted it. I've seen it where they take these rafters and they paint them white, they paint them black, and then they utilize the space. Um, looks like a brand new two-car garage that's been added. Beautiful, beautiful house. This house is actually was seven forty nine nine. It's now listed at seven thirty five. So, anyway, uh, that's a five bedroom, three and a half bath, and it's got three thousand eight hundred and forty three square feet. That is a big house. So, anyway, look at all those rooms here. Look at all those rooms. Let's see what the next one is. Here's one that's seven hundred and thirty five thousand. Let's see what this one looks like. Oh, look at this, beautiful. You can see the pocket door right here and then the built-in seating. See the pocket doors closed, beautiful, beautiful. I love these old houses. They have the address uh, in the transom window above the door. You see that a lot down in the city and you also see a lot of built-in this is like the greeting space in these old houses. Um, and this is a seating area that uh, with the fireplace that they, the young girls would meet their gentlemen callers um, and that's where they would hang out. So just a very, very pretty, look at this beautiful staircase. This beautiful, you can see the kitchen. Oh, look at that. Very pretty. So I just wanted to kind of give you an idea of what some of the homes look like in St. Louis in the Central West End. So anyway, if you uh, need any real estate um, advice or guidance in the St. Louis area, please feel free to call. Make sure to like and subscribe uh, down below. Uh, you can call us, you can text us, you can email us. Um, our information is in our bio and I hope you have a great day. Bye.